So um, here's my scepter 32 inch curved uh, monitor. Um, basically wanted to give an updated review. Uh, I did an open box of this not too long ago, but um, I didn't want to go in depth reviewing when I just had taken it out of the box. I wanted to use it for a little while before uh, I guess develop my opinions more before um, I posted anything. But um, overall I feel like considering how inexpensive this monitor was um, it was worth the price. Um, a 30, yeah, 32 inch curve monitor. I bought it for 225 and that kind of sh that was counting shipping. It's worth that to me. Um, I was considering buying two of these and, uh, I, you know, almost have enough desk space. <laughs> um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I don't plan on buying a second now. Um, yeah, I don't regret buying this, but I'm not going to be buying a second. And basically the reason it, for me is because reading on this monitor isn't as good as I would like. And I feel like getting a vertical monitor, um, a second monitor uh, that was vertical would be a better use of, and uh, maybe not as big, but basically better resolution for reading, for surfing, you know, articles on the web or whatever. Um, this monitor, if I was into a gaming, I probably would buy a second of these. Um, I think um, gaming across two uh, monitors like this would be pretty awesome. I think when it comes to video and gaming, uh, um, the resolution isn't a problem. Um, it works just fine. Um, I can't honestly speak to you. the refresh rates, everything that I've done, they seem fine. I, you can uh, read the specs. Um, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it wouldn't be especially high for a 1080p monitor. Um, but uh, I w personally for me it would be good enough. I would game on this. Um, I think the, the size and just um, uh, wow factor I guess it throws off would be worth it. Um, so, um, anyway, yeah, um, speaking to, yeah, the, the size is the, the high part. If I, uh, uh, um, I guess one of the features I appreciate about this, um, yeah, the, the text isn't, um, you know, reading on this monitor, it, it just, it's not ideal. I mean, you can see how the text looks very pixelated. I don't think it's anything necessarily wrong on the monitor's part it's just what I think happens when you have a 1080p um, resolution stretched out over 32 inches you can see here on my uh, just my new folder icon how you can almost see the individual pixels um, it is something I did notice a lot more when I got the monitor than I do now. Um, I, I honestly don't really think about it. I was moving from 42 inch scepter 4K monitor and that resolutions per square inch was much greater, was much better um, than this one. And I think that was part of the reason why it, the, it stood out to me. It is usable. Um, it's just something I would definitely note and be prepared for. Um, if you're going to read your Kindle on this uh, monitor, it's just, you know, you either going to, if you don't want to have it be noticeable, um, you're probably going to want to make the resolution larger. Um, and if you want to multitask where you have, you know, different windows across here, um, it, if you're going to make them, you know, proportionate to like with the size of the text you'd probably be using on your laptop on this screen, um, it's gonna, it's gonna look pixelated. Um, overall, I still feel like the fit and finish of the monitor is pretty good. Um, I don't have any, um, bleeding in on the edges from light or anything like that. Um, it really, yeah, feels solid. It works like it says it does. Um, a feature I would love to have on this monitor but isn't a huge deal at the same time is just the ability to have it be height adjustable um, it, it, it does tip forward and back that part's great um, it, and I know if, if uh, I was really concerned about it I could always put something underneath the monitor but um, worth it for the price um, yeah video um, gaming um, I would say especially video this is a great monitor for that um, it is an impressive monitor um, uh, 
anyway, those are my basic thoughts. Uh, if there are any questions um, uh, about this that I haven't answered, anything you'd like to know, um, I will I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thanks a lot.